The Bookmark Manager and Viewer extension enables you to view and modify bookmarks directly inside a toolbar panel with inside your browser. So we're going to go through the features of this extension and how it works. So to start, let's add it to our browser. After this extension has been added, we can then pin it to the toolbar. To pin it, we simply select the jigsaw icon and then select the pin option here. Now we can see the show inside the toolbar area. We can left click on this to open up the toolbar panel or we can right click on this to see an options panel as well. So let's go through some of the functionality of this extension. To start, let's go to a random page. So let's go to osn.com. Now we want to bookmark this page. So what we go ahead and do is we can select to create a new bookmark from this tab, or we can select to add a bookmark via here. So let's go ahead and add this bookmark. When this has now been done, we can see that it shows inside the other bookmarks, the bookmark we've just created. And you'll notice this tree format here where we can expand and collapse as well as the collapse here. So it allows us to create different bookmarks and also different categories as well. So let's say, for example, we wanted to create a new directory. We would do that from the drop down list here where we have the option to create a new directory, which is the folder, bookmark the tab we're currently inside or create a new bookmark. We also have the ability here to update the bookmarks title and what this means is the title of the page if it's changed as well as open the options page and reset the root which just reloads the page. We also have the ability to go through to the options page and the bookmark manager. So let's start with the bookmark manager. When we click this here we see the main bookmark manager page. We see on the left hand side our two folders or directories and then we see the files or the links within. We can click on the three icons here to select to edit, delete, cut, copy, paste, etc. So we can open that in a new tab, or we can delete that, or we can edit it. So if we click edit, for example, we can change the name of the page. So we could say Google um, search. Go ahead and save that. We can delete that. We can edit the URL. There's lots of things that we can change there. If we go back here, we notice this is also changed to Google search. So what we can also demonstrate here as well then is the actual update of the bookmark. So we go ahead and select Google search. Then we select here and we select to update the bookmarks title. Now what this will do once clicked is it will go to the URL of the bookmark and grab the page title associated with it. So we have manually updated this to Google search. Click this button and we can see actually it's telling us the title is just Google. We can then go ahead and click the tick to update our records. And we notice here this then changed to just Google. With Wikipedia, we can click on that and click to update the bookmark's title. And it's still just Wikipedia. So nothing has changed about that, so there's no notification with this. So as you can see, this tree format gives you a lot of different options. We can also have the ability to search when we have lots more bookmarks as well. So say, for example, I'm thinking, ah, what was that website I searched for the latest news? So I type in latest, and it brings up MSN because the title of the page has latest in it. Or I can just go ahead and search for msn.com, and this turns up because the URL has MSN within it. So there's lots of different options here for how the search works for the fact that we can search for the page title, we can search for the address bar or the URL as well. We can also go ahead and validate that the URL is still relevant and still exists. So for example, this page still exists and the validation comes back green. So this is a really quick and simple way to essentially bookmark pages, make sure the pages are kept up to date with relevant information and titles, and also validate the URLs of this page. Too often you often bookmark a page on a web and then you don't come back for months on end or you forget that you've bookmarked it and actually it's completely updated and it's clogging up the list. What this tool allows you to do is easily edit, update and search for relevant bookmarks, keeping it streamlined as well as then having it inside inner folders as well. So you have the different directories and the organisation behind this. The other part of this extension we can look at is the options panel provided. So we go ahead and click, select tools and then select open options panel. And inside here, you'll see the different options. 
So for example, we can select the width of the panel that opens up. At the moment, it's 400 by 600 high. So we could change it, for example, to 700 wide and save. And then when we open this, you'll notice it's much wider. It's now 700 wide. So we can also change the height and, for example, make this 600 in height and save that. Now this becomes 700 by 600 in height. So you can see this is edits both the height and the width, allowing full functionality and customability. So let's change this back to 300 and 400, the minimum values. And here we can see it. We also have the ability to set how we want the manager to open, whether it's a pop-up or a new tab. So currently it's a pop-up. If we change this to a new tab and then click, it opens inside a new browser tab as a large screen window. If we go ahead and change this back to the pop-up, you'll then see it as a pop-up. We can also select to automatically focus on the search bar when we open. So open it, and you can see it's automatically focused for us to type here, allowing us to manage our bookmarks even faster without having to double click over and over again. So if we're using the search function with inside our bookmarks a lot, this is incredibly handy for that. You can also add custom CSS styling. You also have the ability to allow us to right click from the context menu and save bookmarks that way. So to do this, we need to grab the folder ID. So we open up the bra, right click on the folder that we wanted to go inside and then click copy ID. We then paste it. And here it is. The idea of this is simply just one. So we go ahead and save it. We then need to restart the extension, which means basically restart our browser. We've restarted our browser. If we go ahead and right click on any of the links, it loads the context menu. And here we can now see the option to bookmark this link directly inside the right click function. So rather than just having to use the toolbar alone, we can actually right click and select links as well.